Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm here to explain that I am a huge procrastinator. So much so that I waited until, I don't know what time is it, 9 p.m. to start filming videos and now my hair is still wet so I'm waiting for it to dry. So I thought, what can I do in the meantime while my hair is drying? So I started cleaning up and then I found this baby in my closet. This is the Style Pro Expert Clean and Dry Makeup Brush Cleaner. I got this in some goodie bag from some event, I don't know how long ago, and I've been meaning to try it, but as the procrastinator that I am, it's just kind of been sitting here. If only I had a couple dirty makeup brushes to clean. Oh yes, all of them. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I am 100% guilty of not cleaning my makeup brushes as much as I should. And it's so bad because I'm letting all this bacteria and like sweat and build up, build up on my brushes to where my makeup brushes could be the reason that I'm getting a breakout. I have this beautiful little zit right here and I really think it's because of my contour brush. Like look at this. Like what, what shape is that? There's like a gaping hole in the middle of it saying, please wash me. So let's open this up. As you can see, the plastic is still on there. I've literally never opened this. This is going to be 100% a first impressions video. And I hope it works because this could make life easier. So here's the little wand. Please have batteries. Oh no, our battery's not included. Oh, phew. All right, so there's just plastic on here salvaging the battery. Woo! We're good. Oh, okay. Here is our main container where all the yuckiness is going to go into. And then we have our lid. Thank you for purchasing Style Pro Expert. Well, I didn't buy it, but someone gave it to me, so thank you to whoever put this in my goodie bag. The best results, please watch this video. Don't have time. If you have any questions, call Don't Have Time. It looks like we grab this part, and we actually clean the brushes in here. Then we put this on top, like so. Ho-ho! I did it! So now I'm going to choose my brush size. It has a bunch of different attachments here. Individual sizes for individual brushes. And then I think there's one where I could do multiple brushes at one time. I'm gonna add some water to it. And now I'm going to add some of the solution that came in the box. It says just to add a small amount. Don't really know what that means. Oh, and who wants to be my first victim? Let's use, let's use this blush brush. That one's definitely dirty, so get a good look. Full of blush and bacteria and yuckiness. And then all you do is find the right size attachment for it. So I think I'm gonna do, that one feels pretty good. Then you stick it on top of here, like so. And then there's two different settings on here and it's supposed to do it for exactly 10 seconds to wash and 10 seconds to dry. So essentially we should be able to clean our brushes in 20 seconds. I'm also going to make sure I submerge the brush completely into the water and then move it in and out, kind of pressing it against the bottom of the bowl. And start. See that light on there? Apparently it's supposed to blink when it's time for me to dry. Now it's blinking, so I'm gonna pick it up. Ooh, look at all that blush. Oh yeah. And it stops automatically after 10 seconds. Wow. It actually is dry. And look at it! Now it's nice and, oh, missed the spot. It is pretty clean though, besides this one little spot. But the rest of the brush does look really clean. Okay, so there's clean brush number one, very impressed. And then I could dump this. Oh, okay. Look at all the dirt and makeup that was in that one brush. That's what we're putting on our faces, people. So I should have put a, a lot less cleanser probably because you're supposed to do this after every brush. And we've got a lot of brushes to do, so we're gonna need a lot of water. This is kind of fun! And now let's try a smaller brush, like maybe 
this one that I use for blending for my eyeshadow all the time. Very, very dirty as you can see. Let me just show you what the lights look like. Light is on for 10 seconds. See how it's blinking? That's when you know it's gonna dry. Now it's blinking. All right, let's take a peek. This one could be a little bit cleaner. Let's add some more solution. Okay, now we're talking. So that second time with the more cleanser was better. See how this even has a like a white tip? Who even knew? That's how dirty it was. So now it's nice and clean and it's completely dry. All right, so using the right amount of cleaner is important. This was a good one. And now let's use a big brush like this. Look at all that yuckiness on there. So it also comes with these weird shaped like star ones. And this is for these larger or like weird shaped brushes. Whoa, so that's weird. It is still soaking wet. Let's dry this again. It's kind of struggling with this big one. I wonder why. Okay, so either this brush is extremely dirty or it just isn't really cleaning the big one as well as I would like. Hmm, all right, the big one was kind of a fail. Now for a foundation, it says to just use the cleanser without adding any water. So let me add the cleanser in here. Very dirty foundation brush, exhibit A. Nice and dry. Nice and clean too. And that was just the cleanser on its own. Very impressive. Now this actually isn't the very first time that I've tried a self-cleaning brush contraption like this. If you guys saw me on the TV show The Real when I did the steals on The Real, I actually demonstrated a very similar product, but I believe it was a different brand. But the thing that's supposed to be special about this one is that you can clean multiple brushes at one time. So it has this little attachment right here where you can insert several brushes and you're supposed to be able to clean them all at the same time. But the thing that I have noticed about this attachment is that even my very skinny brushes don't fit in here. Like I'm trying several different brands, several different sizes. Oh, this one, that one kind of works. No, that doesn't even stick. Oh, got one. Okay. So out of all the brushes that I own, only two fit in this contraption. So that really defeats the purpose of being able to clean multiple brushes at one time. Applying this fat attachment to this round one, which I believe is the 30 milliliter. not gonna dry like that all right drying again this is like playing operation when you got to keep it right in the middle not hit any of the edges Ooh. Ooh, ah, ah. holy moly all right it's out of control they're a little wet but they're clean I think I've seen enough here in conclusion this does work but I think it works best on certain brushes. So if you have eyeshadow brushes, maybe even foundation brushes, highlight, blush, like these normal size brushes, I think it does a really good job on. But when it comes to the bigger ones, it either takes more cleanser or more cleaning to really get it clean. This little multiple attachment was a great idea but they made the holes way too small. All these other rubber ones are like kind of adjustable. It gives you a little bit of a give, but this is plastic. So if it does not fit, it does not fit. I will probably continue to use just dishwashing soap to clean my brushes because using these little makeup cleaners, I use three of these and I clean maybe five brushes. So this is not gonna last 
very long, but dishwashing liquid is a lot cheaper and just as efficient. I also noticed that if you do have any brushes like this that are double-sided, you can't really stick the bristles inside of a cleaner. So I'm gonna have to clean these manually because that's just not gonna work if you have a lot of double-sided brushes. Now, like I said, I did get this in a goodie bag from some event that I went to. Let's see how much it actually is. This should be available on stylepro.com. And the Style Pro Expert, which is this big one right here, is $64.99. Wow. That's a little pricey. I don't know if I'd spend $70 on this. It's convenient to be able to clean it in 10 seconds and dry it in 10 seconds. It does take a lot of different contraptions and a lot of soap. It's a cool idea. I just don't know if you should spend $65 on it. What do you guys think? Have you ever tried one of these self-cleaning brush cleaners? Do you think it's worth the money? Do you want to give it a try? Are you curious? Do you have one yourself? Leave a comment down below with all of your opinions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.